like 5000 likes to this video, we will implode more patriotic news. Thank you. He's back Jeff Sessions just won back President Trump with an amazing gift. I think it goes without saying that the last week and a half was pretty tense between President Donald Trump and Attorney General Jeff Sessions. A lot of people thought Sessions was as good as fired. Well, with some hard work and changing of priorities, it looks like AG Sessions might have finally won back the president with this genius present. Jeff Sessions will launch a huge campaign to find and punish the White House leakers. The big announcement is scheduled to be made in a press conference by Sessions himself this Friday, according to Fox News. Remember how Trump was very upset that AG Sessions spending more time fighting marijuana and increasing civil asset forfeitures when he should have been fighting against Russia, rooting out the leakers, exposing Imran A1, helping to expose the crooks in Congress and root out violent gangs in inner cities across the country? Well, this right here is Sessions trying to show the president he is gonna get his priorities straight and go where he is needed most. It also shows how much better the cabinet works with General Kelly in charge. Now we will just see if the president is happy enough with the actions Sessions is taking to outweigh his recusal on Russia. I am sure they are on better terms now, but that is still a huge factor. Let's do a poll. Comment what you think Trump will do with Sessions now and share this out to see how many answers we can get. I get Trump just said one word about new Chief of Staff General Kelly that shocked everyone. President Trump just added the very well-respected General John Kelly to his administration, as his Chief of Staff, after ousting Reince Priebus. General Kelly is expected to bring discipline and order to the White House, and many are talking about what the might mean to those who have direct contact with the President, like his own daughter, I get Trump. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders told reporters on Monday that Kelly had full authority and that all staff will report to him. But what does that mean to Ivanka? Is she considered staff within the meaning of what Sarah Sanders announced? Here's what she had to say, alongside. What does that mean? It does not imply that she intends to be beneath, or under him, does it? I don't know for sure, and time will tell. What I do know is that Ivka is smart and competent, and I imagine that everyone in the White House, including the President and General Kelly, respect her greatly. What do you think? Comment and share if you are happy with what's happening in the White House. H slash T Briet Bart Finally what this Judiciary Committee rep just exposed will have Mueller running to the hills. Rep. Trent Franks, RAS, has finally had enough of special counsel Robert Mueller's obvious conflicts of interest and has called for him to step down, according to Fox News. Rep. Trent Franks who sits on the House Judiciary Committee said this in a statement on Tuesday, Bob Mueller is in clear violation of federal code and must resign to maintain the integrity of the investigation into alleged Russian ties. Those who worked under them have attested he and Jim Comey possess a close friendship, and they have delivered on the record statements effusing praise of one another. Mueller and former FBI Director James Comey do have a very close friendship, which had been described as brothers in arms by colleagues. In his statement against Mueller, Franks also pointed out that Mueller has hired at least three lawyers for his legal team who have donated to Hillary Clinton and other Democrat candidates. Franks concluded his statement with, until Mueller resigns, he will be in clear violation of the law, a reality that fundamentally undermines his role as special counsel and attending ability to execute the law. That a congressman on the judiciary is saying this is huge. The wave against Mueller for his conflicts of interest has been building for months, and it looks like it is finally coming to a head. Share 10,000 times if you can't wait to see Mueller out so this witch hunt can end. H slash T Fox News. Kappa. Right after another Russia question, Sarah Sanders lays the beat down on MSM journalists in Epic Rand going viral. Many Americans have lost patience with the mainstream media's obsession with Trump and Russia. Sarah Huckabee Sanders is no exception. 
our girl put the beat down on journalists during her latest press briefing in an absolutely epic rant going viral. Watch video at the end. The journalist first asked, for the billionth time, about the latest controversy the media cooked up Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting with a Russia lawyer then Sanders unleashed her tirade, everybody is trying to make this some story about misleading the only thing I find misleading is the year of stories that have been fueling a false narrative about this Russia collusion and a phony scandal based on anonymous sources. Then she brings the hammer down saying the media is obsessed with Don Jr.'s meeting of no consequence yet ignore major Democrat scandals, the Democrats actually colluded with a foreign government like Ukraine, the Democrat-linked firm Fusion GPS actually took money from the Russian government while it created the phony dossier that's been the basis for all of the Russia scandal fake news, she continued, and if you want to talk further about a relationship with Russia, look no further than the Clintons as we've said time and time again. Bill Clinton was paid half a million dollars to give a speech to a Russian bank, and was personally thanked by Putin for it. Now it's Hillary's turn, Hillary Clinton allowed one-five of America's uranium reserve to be sold to a Russian firm whose investors were Clinton Foundation donors. And a Clinton Foundation chairman's brother lobbied against sanctions on Russia's largest bank and failed to report it. Sarah let it all hang out. And then she shows the media just how ridiculous they really are Trump train coming through, if you want to talk about somebody who's actually been tough on Russia, look at President Trump he wants more fracking, more coal, more energy, a stronger military, a stronger defense those things aren't good for Russia. I think the distinctions are very clear, and you guys want to create a narrative that just doesn't exist. Boom baby. Honestly. I don't know how this awesome lady does this every single day. Sarah Sanders is the real deal, and Trump couldn't have asked for a better press secretary. You know the mainstream media is never going to post this though so share it 50,000 times and spread her message far and wide. H slash T Fox News. Jobs galore Trump just made massive jobs announcements that will drive deems insane. When everyone showed up at Trump's speech on the importance of small business, the last thing they were expecting was the announcement of a massive jobs package beyond their wildest dreams. Welp, leave it to President Trump to make the impossible, possible. He revealed today that the Foxconn CEO told him secretly that he wants to invest $30 billion in the United States. In case you didn't know, Foxconn is the company that Apple pays to make your iPhones in China. Now. He may have been being a tiny bit sneaky when he dropped this bombshell on America. After all, he told the crowd, he told me off the record, he thinks he may go $30 billion, but he told me that off the record, so I promised I wouldn't tell anyone. That's called big business, by the way. The funny thing is, just last week Trump revealed that Tim Cook from Apple told Trump off the record that he was going to build three new plants in America. It took him long enough. Honestly, China has made pretty much all of the world's smartphones for a decade while now while Apple hoards cash and pays a measly 18.3% in taxes. As a California company, they should be at a nearly 50% tax rate between their federal and state taxes, so thank you again, President Trump, for helping to give this country the jobs we need to make us great again and not reliant on China. IT's going down Debbie Wasserman Schultz just got the worst news of her life. The amount of corruption that the Awen brothers and Debbie Wasserman Schultz are involved with is staggering. It may be one of the greatest scandals in history. There are only a few independent news organizations still reporting on it. According to the Washington Free Beacon, Congress has begun investigating the scandal surrounding Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Deflay. Watch this video to see what just came out from Judge Napolitano. On Monday, Judge Napolitano said that Imran Awan was selling U.S. secrets to foreign agents. Judge Napolitano, he was arrested for some financial crime. That's the tip of the iceberg. The real crime against him was that he had contact, he had access to emails of every member of Congress and he sold what he found in there. What did he sell and to whom did he sell it? That's what the FBI wants to know. This may be a very, 
very serious national security investigation. Imran Awan worked for Debbie Wasserman Schultz for 13 years. She fired him only a week ago and continued to pay him as an IT expert despite the fact that he lived in Pakistan. Share this everywhere, patriots. We need to get information out about the Awan scandal. This scandal could take down the dirty Republicans and the damn Democrats. Get this out there right away. Incredible this prophecy foretold Trump presidency 200 years ago, look what's coming next. Someone has located a book, written in the 19th century, that appears to foreshadow much of Donald Trump's rise to the presidency. First, one of the main characters in the book is a young man by the name of Baron Trump. Spelled one letter different than Donald Trump's youngest son, Baron. But that's not all. In a book by author Ingersoll Lockwood, called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey, Baron grows up in Castle Trump but grows bored with his life of riches. But get this, he decides to visit. Wait for it. Russia. Not kidding. It gets better. Baron's adventures in Russia are guided by a character called the Master of All Masters. His name? Don. You can't make this stuff up. But actually, apparently you can, because Ingersoll Lockwood did, in the late 1800s. But Lockwood predicted more than just that, you'll. His last book was titled The Last President. While I haven't personally read this book, but intend to for sure, according to Newsweek, it begins in New York City in November, after the election of an opposed outsider candidate. The people of the city go crazy. But get this, Newsweek quotes the book, saying, The Fifth Avenue Hotel will be the first to feel the fury of the mob, the novel continues, citing an address in New York City where Trump Tower now stands. Would the troops be in time to save it? Just as a reminder of the real win, now I'm kinda of freaked out by that, you'll. That's pretty creepy. Did an author, psychic predict President Trump? Please share this with all your friends. They aren't going to believe it. Do you? H slash teen.